day five. Nigeria versus Sierra Leone. Nigeria are the home team. Sierra Leone are the away side. My name is Oluwa Shewajiragba. I've got the two captains here. Captain of Nigeria, Sylvester Okwe, and captain of Sierra Leone, George Edward Ungbegba. Our match referee, Tonye Timinadi, while our third umpire for today is Ibrahim Kabia from Syria alone. We are set for the toss of the coin. Is it Ed? Is it tail? Nigeria tossing? Ed. Ed is the call. Ed, you have it. And so, George Edward Ungbegba gets another one over Nigeria. The last time they faced on October 5, 2023, a lovely toss day. You won the toss, and today again you are winning the toss. What are you doing? Uh, we're going to have a bad first today. What informed this decision to bad first? They met on the 5th of October here at the same venue. On the mark there. Can you attribute it to the bowling and the fielding of the teams? Uh, the batters not really applying. Run out opportunity. Will he hit? Oh, and he hit. Oh my word. Not what you want if you're a Syrianian. Unnecessary. Unrequired. What a way. It's Isaac to Aruna. Yeah, he swings big. Ball in the air. Brilliant running. And well taken by Ronshawe. He gets a wicket from his first delivery. Isaac. Wickets. Trust me, anytime Sierra Leone will have to play Nigeria. A victory for Sierra Leone is big and well appreciated in Freetown and the whole of Sierra Leone. Gone. Everything. Uh, you know, maybe I retired too early, but, uh, you know, um, I'm always happy that I got the privilege of representing this country and playing such a beautiful sport. Absolutely. That was a brilliant shot there for four. <laughs> a loud Big appeal. appeal. But David Odian boy is uninterested. I think uh, just from uh, from my view here, yeah, that looked like it was pitching a uh, outside leg storm. Uh, and it's all Madeku. Taiwo Mohammed. Oh, another wicket down. What do you make out that bowling? That was sensible. Looked like it was coming with so much pace. Just slowed the thing. Um, which West African country played cricket first? Whoa. Oh, another one. Another wicket. Uh, trying to put that into long off, uh, but he didn't get a good hold of it. Um, and uh, mid off. Slide, you pick ball, you turn. It's always a beauty to be old. And we'll ask you more. You mentioned guys from outside. Another wicket. Yes. Another wicket. It's two in two. Is that a hat trick? It's an hat trick. <laughs> Whoa. The first player at this tournament mm -hmm. to get an hat trick. <laughs> Woo! Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful leg cutter. Wonderful leg cutter. The batsman. Now that's the kind of bucket you want to take as a bowler. Yeah. You know, leaving the um, without a doubt, the talent is there. Oh, uh, six runs by Blah. Um, Playing a lofted drive off Taiwo Mohammed. We will see more and more of the teams. Uh, so, yes, indeed, yeah, to your point. Another wonderful shot. Um, is this going to be out? Oh, yes. Um, that's uh, straight down the throat of SSLA at mid off. Um, I think one shot too many, I would say, Taya. Yeah. Oh, the slower ball does the trick again. Lovely thinking by the young man. 
quick bowling, quick bowling, and then, you know, uh, just slows down. I'm now a convert. Oh, outside edge. Outside edge. Is this going to go around? At, uh, yeah, that's going to be four runs. Four runs. Yeah. Uh, Sean, there's a question for you. Um, I've been getting a few messages, um, and so one person in particular. Uh, to form a club that is very similar to what we, uh, the Maryleban Cricket Club today, you know. A, cr a chance, chance, chance. What wonderful a catch. catch. Wonderful catch. What a catch. Wonderful catch to wrap up the innings. The fielding has been excellent today. Yeah, absolutely. Not not a single drop not chance. A single, and and they, they have not all been easy catches. Uh, very true. Um... Sponsor. Yes, we're back for the second innings of match five, day nine of the West Africa Trophy. Sponsored by Dafabet. We can't thank you enough for giving us uh, quality cricket matches to see, which is also a preparatory game for Nigeria and Rwanda as they head straight to the final qualifier. In Windhoek, Namibia, where several countries will be jostling for two spots for the T20 World Cup in 2024 that will be hosted by West Indies and United States of America. The first inning saw eating Bangura on the mouth uh, in the last game. <clears throat> Something is wrong somewhere. Suleiman always getting out in the first over. In the last three matches, from a T20 perspective, um, there's something about his strike rate. Oh, wonderful shot through covers for four. Wonderful shot by Jokum. Uh, just a slight push on the ball, uppish, playing it on the up, getting the ball into space. Uh, there was a risk there that if he had just come slightly to the left, it could have been caught by covers. But uh, take no credit away from that wonderful timing of the shot yeah, by Jokum. And, uh, you know, and um, we've come a long way in this game, I, I believe. Uh, you and I, from the developmental stages uh, to the junior levels. Oh, four runs. Four runs. Lovely covers drive um, and a fantastic fielding. Uh, but would that be four runs or just be two runs? Uh, that um, oh. you're going to be hearing from cricketers is how sincere the game is. Lovely stop. Yeah. There's a lot of value that is placed in the game and we don't want to never want to let that slip away when it comes to coaching. Yes. Uh, Shen, there's, um, there's a part of the game that we use as a, we always use as an excuse sometimes. We always say oh. it's a bad oh. day in the sure. office. So sometimes in, about, um, in the game where you do everything positive and everything right but then the result comes the other way around and you'll be like you know, it was a painful experience for the team, uh, but I'm sure that, like we see, experience is the best teacher. We will learn from it as a country and as a team. You're right. Um, oh, my. Is this going to be the end of the game? A misfield at covers, and that brings up the two runs needed to wrap up the game. Early lunch, early showers, early end <laughs> to the broadcast. I would like to say a big thank you to Dafabet, uh, who has made this possible to forget every part of the game those who have done so much to make sure we have great views so we say a very big thank you to them and we are not leaving the groundsmen out of this also absolutely the effort to, would have been to to give us standard um pitch without no complaint from any team so far in the tournament this is wonderful absolutely absolutely interesting and classical uh execution from the nigerian team uh limiting the Sierra Leonean team to 49 all out in 14.5 overs and Nigeria wrapping, scoring the runs in uh, just 7.1 overs. Wonderful. Um, um, again, fantastic uh, thanks to everybody who's been involved in this production. Uh, it's been a wonderful.